Good morning, everybody. It's John here, you small town door dasher. I'm out on my breakfast run this morning. Finally got an order for Bojangles, a six mile, six dollar order. That's about as low as I will take as a dollar a mile. Uh, I just wanted to talk with you and touch base. And I'm curious about something. How do you feel about other dashers in your market? Do you view them as competition? Do you help another dasher if they need help? Things like this, I'm curious about. For example, I ran into a dasher at McDonald's one day, a couple, couple or three months ago. And it was her first or second, it was her first or second door dash order she had done. She had just got started. She didn't have a bag yet. And I had a old hot bag that my brother-in-law gave me that I don't, never, don't use much anymore because I got new ones. So I gave it to her so she would have one until hers arrived. Would you do something like that for another dasher or would you just say, eh, let them let it go, let them try to figure it out on their own. Because even though, yes, technically they are your competition, it's, you, they are colleagues as well. So you guys are in this together. You may need help one day and another dasher won't help you if you don't help them. So you never know when you might need help. Anything could happen, flat tire, dead battery. I've had it all happen. I've even had a wreck while I was doing it. Actually, it wasn't a bad wreck, it was just a little bump. But let, let me know in the comments if you help other dashers if they need help. You know, jump them off, anything. Just let me know in the comments. I'm almost at Bojangles, so I'm going to go pick this order up. I'll be back with you shortly. Okay guys, finally back in from Bojangles. I got a surprise stacked order while I was in there. So now I've got two orders to deliver. Yay. I didn't know that I was gonna do that or I'd have took my drink carrier in. Although it was a pretty good order. Stacked on $9. For seven miles that's not bad at all so plus I got a free sausage biscuit apparently they had a catering order get made today that wasn't supposed to go out till next week so they they gave me a free sausage biscuit out of it that's pretty good won't ever pass something like that up do the restaurants where you're at ever offer you guys free drinks or anything like that they do here occasionally, not very often does something like this happen, but occasionally it does. Let me know in the comments below if it does. guys first order completed that was the nine dollar stock on order I don't know why they wanted me to do it first but now we're on to the next one here we go so 
some of these people and their instructions on where to leave the food is confusing. That said, please leave on bottom porch. There was an elevated porch and then there was a ground floor door with concrete in front of it. I'm assuming that is what they meant by bottom porch. I really don't know, but I mean, come on. You can leave a little bit better instructions than that. I don't know. They might have meant the landing between the two, flight, two sets of stairs that go up to their porch. That could have been what they meant, but I don't know. I done the best I could. I took a picture, left a note where it was. That's all you can really do. I mean, we'll figure it out, I guess. Okay, I'll get back with you when I'm getting close to dropping off this, this other order. Okay, getting close to this drop off now, so I figured I'd go ahead and turn the camera back on, let you have a little bit of scenery. And while we're at it, it is Veterans Day today, and I want to say Happy Veterans Day to everybody. And I want to say thank you to all the veterans who have served to make this country safe and free for us to be able to do what we do. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm here for the drop off. I shall return. Okay, got that dropped off, and now I've got another order from the coffee barrel. It's just a small order. It's 3.6 miles for 450. I think I'll take it just because I like the coffee barrel. Right now, my mileage 3.6. And I will get back with you after I get my pickup done. Okay, I'm pulling into the coffee barrel. There ain't much place to park. Here, this is just a little hole in the wall shop here. Let me show you. But let me tell you, they have the absolute best coffee in town, in my opinion. Better than Starbucks, better than the other little, there's a couple of other little coffee shops here in this place is better than all of them put together. I do believe. And that is how you parallel park. Let's sanitize up, go in and get this order. You guys have a good day. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, this coffee shop does serve sandwiches, but this order was just for one cup of coffee. It's going to a doctor's office, so maybe they just really needed a fix. I'm on my way to do my delivery now. I will see you guys shortly. Okay, I dropped off the coffee and had to turn down a little order. It was $2.50 for three miles. If people cannot tip, they're not getting food from me. <coughs> I mean, I understand that people may not have money on their cards or may not have money at all for that matter, but if you, if you try to tip, if you just tip a quarter, I'm more likely to take your order than I am if you don't tip at all. Just for the plain and simple fact of the matter, it's principle. We're out here using our cars, risking our lives, especially if you drive in the town that I live in. So, you know, tip something. I usually tell people when they ask me, tip a dollar a mile is an okay tip. Two dollars a mile is a decent tip. And more than anything more than that, you know, a real good tip. That's the way I explain it to people. Because I won't take an order for less than a dollar a mile usually. Even if it's a one mile order for two dollars and fifty cents 
I won't take it because there's no tip on it. You got a tip. This is a luxury service. I mean, sure, some people, you know, need help or something, but when it comes to this, you need to tip something. I won't go into a restaurant and not tip a waitress unless she is just a terrible waitress. Even if I don't have but a quarter, I'll leave that quarter for it just because the principle of it tips something. Just waiting on an order now. Ride back towards my parking spot and park. I'll get back with y'all when I get there. Well, I'm back to my parking spot. I've turned down two crappy Walmart orders that wasn't even a dollar a mile. Now, don't forget that today is Thursday. The new Walmart deals thing starts today. That They started last week. They drop new deals every Thursday between now and Black Friday. So... Starting at noon, they're going to start, we'll be delivering those things. Those are usually pretty good orders to deliver, or they have been for me anyway. So I may just, I believe since it's been such a crappy, slow morning, I'm just going to go home and I may come back out and run at noon to try to see the Walmart deals orders are any good. I want you guys to have a good day. I want you to be safe out there and hope you get lots of orders.